I pray that you have a fantastic week. And even if you've had things that have happened to you that might rob that, I pray that God is healing you. I'm speaking right now to those of you that are broken hearted. And I will not list all the things that you might be broken hearted from. I'll mention a few, perhaps a loss of a relationship, loss of someone that you hold dear, or a loss of a job, or a loss of an opportunity that you were hoping for. God heals the brokenhearted, and God will heal you. And you just simply have to allow it. And how do you allow it? You, you release those thoughts. The human mind, when it's brokenhearted, it wants to grip on to the pain and hold on to it. It's a funny thing about a human being, the way we'll do that. And some people do it for years, some people do it for decades, but not you. Because you're a spiritual person. Martin Luther said this, A mighty fortress is God, a bulk word, never failing, our helper. God, amid the flood of mortal ills, prevailing. In Psalms 147, verse 3, it says, God heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. I love that. Sometimes we don't know how to heal ourselves. Sometimes something has hurt so bad that we just wonder if we'll ever recover. And yet, in God, we do. The minute we're able to release... See, the minute we're able to release, we're able to receive. When we suffer heartbreak, it may seem that our hearts will never be repaired, but God knows better. God knows that we can recover, and God promises that when we ask for God's help, God will answer our prayers. I ask you to turn in your Bibles to Luke 11 and read verses 9 and 10. It promises the same. Has your heart been broken? And broken to a point that you wonder how in the world will you ever stand up again and go forward? Are you feeling troubled or confused, weak, sorrowful? If so, remember this, that God is not just near. God is right here, and God is right where you are right now. God is waiting to help you, waiting to cause miracles to happen, and waiting for the call to come in and take over. God is trying to get God's message of God's love in and through you. From the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, missing nothing. Open your heart right now to your Creator. Spend some quiet time with God today and every day. And ask God to comfort your spirit, to heal your heart, and to ease your mind. Now, healing may not be instantaneous, but know this, that when our hearts are broken, God's healing will come, and expect it to come. That's part of opening up your receptivity. And when you do, God will do as promised. God bless you, my friend.